Hey guys, and welcome to a website case study. I know you guys love those design case studies, but you know, it's hard putting them together. You're working on a project for months, then it's in development for months until it's all approved and live and I can share it with you. But here it is. I'm super excited to share this with you. It's been a project, one of the biggest projects that I've been working on last year, and it's finally live and published. So I want to show you everything, how we got started, how I did the research, how I worked in Sketch, in Envision, and how we brought everything back together. Again, process of a few months of working together with the client. So the company name um, that I was working with is called Lucia. It's a data company, which means they're... Um, they're helping their clients to find contact information for um, for the people that they're trying to reach. It's very helpful for um, recruiters and salespeople. And so, even though they did not invest in design very much before they uh, they've started working with me, they were already uh, super successful and had a lot of sales because people really need their product. And so, here's here's what I what they have when they uh, kind of reached me they had this website um really really simple website with kind of a gif of their chrome extension they had a um, product that they were still working on but that's it basically just a landing page with a little bit of testimonials um and a pricing page that's it super super simple and they wanted to create a bigger website with lots of content since they were working on four more new products and they wanted to create like really a large website and also update their brand now basically it wasn't a branding proper uh, like a proper branding project otherwise this would take even longer they came to me because they needed uh, a website but obviously when when i looked at this and when i look at the you know at their logo and at their character design and everything I told them if you want this to be like really high quality like you're aiming for we're gonna have to rework those things and so I put an effort into that and I'll share that as part of the process but it wasn't like the main focus of this project so I did it quicker than when I'm actually doing like proper branding uh, you know branding projects so I want to show you how I got started so I got started after talking to them understanding their goals and what they're trying to uh, achieve I started with some research basically kind of like a visual research um, to try to to see what what kind of a visual direction they're into so here here's what I did um, basically I have here all the folders I have a research folder where I created and I kind of created categories like 3d and so I can show them website that use like 3d for example or something a bit more artistic um, like these or something like um, let's say graphic you know that uses graphic or that uses uh, illustration and they actually pretty much like the character that they have of Lucia so we've uh, decided to go with something something around this which is like graphic illustration not like hand illustration but graphic illustration so this is basically the direction that they were they were telling me that they're into and so I took this in mind when thinking about you know redoing the, the illustration redoing the brand character and everything so this was kind of like I've prepared this research for kind of like our preliminary um, kickoff meeting and then I actually got started into working so I want to show you the first presentation I did for them after my initial um, my initial work the goal of this presentation was to get an okay about kind of the little bit of brand update the, the new color scheme I wanted to use and uh, and kind of just show them a home page with with a visual direction and see if they like this if they would approve this then we move on into uh, creating all, you know all of the website so here's the presentation that I, I presented to them I'll, I'll try to get this done quickly um, so yeah this is what we're this is the agenda for the for the meeting all right so I started with the logo that they have I explained to them why I don't think this works um, but I told them that I do like the reference of kind of like a 50s kind of secretary thing so I wanted to stay there but I try to see what's iconic about this and I came to realize that the glasses are a pretty um, kind of iconic symbol and perhaps this can be the actual symbol of the company um, 
and so I've updated the font and suggested this as a new logo again this is super super quick uh, for a logo but this was my updated suggestion I showed them this would work in small scale they had a problem where they, they had the illustration of, of, of Lucia the character and it was really really small you couldn't see anything so I wanted to go with something a little bit more iconic and demonstrated how the glasses would work in that direction so the color they were using like a generic blue and I, I wanted to set them apart from competitors and so I suggested a color scheme that uses gradients and a little bit more um, to the purple area uh, still uses a little bit of blue which is kind of corporate they're still kind of a b2b business to business co uh, company which sells to like big companies their you know their clients include Google Microsoft companies like that and so they still need to be a bit of, you know a bit corporate but a little bit more fun um, so I suggested this color scheme and show them how this would work with the icon and then okay let's start talking about what's the problem with the with the character by the way I have a video specifically dedicated to the illustration process that we did on this project so I will link it here if you want you're interested I went in depth about how we did this and I worked with a, with a, a designer illustrator from Ukraine on this which was super helpful and also helped me with some of the icons and visual on, on the website um, but this is how I presented to them um, and then I suggested an updated version of the illustration and then uh, putting it all together showing them kind of an idea for the home page um, so this is the updated version of the home page um, this already includes a little bit of a new kind of a new uh, content that I've al already created for them so talking about their different uh, different product that they have they had a Salesforce integration an API integration um, Zapier integration and so the purpose of this was to show them the new visual language how illustration might look like how the color would work um, and how the content will be presented so basically yeah a redesign of the home page and I show them this this was my first presentation and it went super well they were excited they said we love it but of course, just like every client, they had like a lot of feedback, feedback on the character, feedback on the logo, feedback on, you know, on the design itself. And so the next step was to actually, I started doing wireframes for the rest of the website, um, which I'll talk about later. I shared it with Envision. Um, with them uh, to get feedback and uh, and I actually did the iteration. So let me show you the, the presentation of the iteration. Um, all right, so this was kind of round, round two of the design. So yeah, rework the logo, the illustration, the Chrome extension. I'm not going to show you this in the home page. All right, so the logo. So one of their comments was that uh, one of the founders said, uh, I'm not sure that glasses um, will work for a data company. Maybe it doesn't look too, I don't know, technical or data. So that was his feedback. He wasn't really sure about this. So I told him, okay, I did a little bit of data uh, icons research and that's how they look like. So if you notice, there is kind of a, like a pattern of circles that are connected with a line. And so perhaps instead of using this, we can transform this to a different type of glasses, but that are also very, very similar to kind of the representation of data uh, or databases or connection between datas uh, in you know what people are used to seeing in icons in that type um, and so it, it also has the meaning of you know we take a person and we connect the data to that person that's part of what they're doing and so I showed this to them uh, also showed how this would look that actually looks even better with the typeface because as you can see the a is almost a round circle so it actually looks much better like this um, so this was the updated uh, suggestion for the logo which they did like um, then went to the feedback that they had about uh, the illustration that we suggested and then showed them uh, how we updated it so we replaced the glasses with the new glasses um, that represent the the new uh, logo that we have we replaced the shirt then we replaced the smile then we replaced the hair and reworked it um, until we thought it looks much better as you can see before and after and so and that's actually the final illustration um, for Lucia there were lots of it you can watch the video on the on the illustration process so that's basically um, kind of the the 
beginning of the project. After I did this, I actually started to design the whole pro the whole website. And I just want to show you how big it is. So here's here's my sketch uh, website, uh, sketch <laughs> sketch file for the website. Just see how many pages there there are on the website. So let's just quickly go over it. And that's even without the mobile versions. So that's the home page. That's uh, a page for their Chrome extension. That's their that's the page for uh, the API. As you can see, lots of icons, lots of images to create for this website. Um, this is the integrations page. I'm going super quick because uh, there's so much pages to go over. Uh, so this is the Salesforce integration. Uh, this is the pricing page super important page on the website um, those are pages that are actually for uh, SEO purposes this is the customers page with lots of testimonials terms of service and more and more pages a whole resource uh, resource center with um, with the blog and everything so and also a page for API anyway there's lots lots of pages uh, this one I like this is the about page Kind of like the illustration that we did for this, um, talking about connections, their values, the team. They even put me here as chief design officer. Such a great client. <laughs> Such a great client. Um, okay, so basically this is the sketch file. I try to work with with symbols, um, but I'm not sure that I did it properly because I was working in collaboration with the other uh, designer and every time she sent me back uh, a file and I try to copy stuff it duplicated the symbol and so that was a total mess which sucked about working with sketch but anyway uh, this is what we did I did try to create finally they were asking me for a kind of a color scheme and I try to use um, envisions kind of uh, styles creator uh, but that did not work well because we had so many kind of illustration and different colors then when I try to create style guides um, using using envisions uh, craft plugin it just created like a gazillion of uh, of colors and it was like totally relevant so finally by hand I created this kind of a, like uh, a page with with the color scheme of the website and kind of of a brand with a little bit of um, kind of a, an indication of of a name so we can talk about the colors and um, and how to use them and when to use each color so this is just something that I did to work along because they will keep working on the website you know and on advertising and on ads and, and banners and, and other stuff along the way so this is kind of like not proper brand book because again this wasn't like a proper branding project but they still needed this in order to work so basically this is the sketch we also did a mobile version for for the website which was also a lot of work um, mainly the whole communication for the website together with them was uh, through Envision and that wouldn't work that worked super super well so let me show you the Envision project so basically we have here all of the pages as you can see but um, for each page let me just go here um, and see the history mode here um, let's just load up the first time that I uploaded this so as you can see this is the first so the first time I created the Envision project it was actually just wireframes so this is how it looked this is the actual wireframe that I created um, also in sketch and sync this um, and then they could add comments here and manage all the comments so I can see this and then just update the version so just see how many updates on every page there is like uh, 14 or 15 versions until we reach the final um, the final page there were lots and lots of rounds of iteration on this project basically the contract said it's three rounds it was actually much longer but I was tracking time and seeing that we were still doing good on time and you know I wanted to give them good service and so we did like a lot of iterations until finally um, you know I, I told them all right we finished the delivery and from here on it's extra but um, but you know what? I didn't care because I they were so nice and uh, it was really a great and, and super efficient pro uh, process. You know, working they left comments as to what doesn't work on on the Envision. I fixed it in Sketch. Just clicked you know sync and it sent it to to Envision. So that was really um, an efficient way to work. 
what else, what else, what else? All right, so development of this website. So this website is now live. You can actually see it here at lucia.co. Um, initially, I suggested them that I would develop it in Webflow, um, but they chose not to do it. They wanted to keep it in-house. They wanted their own developer to work on it. This also kind of the web marketing website syncs with their you know, their back end and then and for SEO purposes, they generate pages. And so they would rather keep it on the, on their own servers. And so they use their own developer. And I we use also Envision and Envision assets and uh, inspect um, to, to move the assets and, and to communicate how the website should look like. But that still, you know, takes a lot of guessing you know it's super hard to show animation hover states and how things should react I and it took a lot of time and honestly I'm not like 100% feel comfortable with the way that he implemented some of the design so I'm I don't like it 100% the way that uh, it was developed I feel like if I was developing it in Webflow it was much more you know subtle interactions and, and the way that it resizes and, and the whole responsiveness how it works but uh, you know it is what it is I think and I told them that next time even if they want to host it on their own server I would probably better off doing the you know the front end in Webflow myself exporting the code and they just take the code and connect it to whatever they want because I feel just like design wise the the quality of you know of the website would be higher um, in my opinion all right so that's basically sums up working on this project with the Lucia team I really really enjoyed working with them just because they're an awesome bunch of people to work with and I think the result is is pretty cool I first time I'm doing like a website with illustration and working on brand characters so it was really really great experience for me and a lot of fun to work with um, one more thing I wanted to share with you like last week or two weeks ago I shared with you that I was helping a friend to create like uh, uh, crowdfunding video for his uh, upcoming movie so that video is now ready I will put the link in the description if you want to see that how the video turned out I did the drone shots and help uh, directing the film a little bit um, you can check it out and see if you like it or if it's interesting for you it's about um, an ex soldier with post-traumatic here in Israel it's super interesting you should check it out all right that's enough for today my voice is like uh, hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you tomorrow